welcome back to my Creative Capsule channel. Today we will be transforming this black melamine side table and give it a marble effect top with a gold metallic base. We will be using chalk paint for the top as well as a mixture of epoxy and chalk paint to give the marble effect and we'll use a metallic gold spray paint for the base. Once we're done, this is what the table will look like. Let's start with all the items we need to use for this project. You will find a detailed list of all these items in the description section below this video. First, we'll start by cleaning the table with mild soap and water. Let's then do some light sanding with a 200 grit sanding sponge. Now that we're done sanding, we'll clean up the dusty residue with soap and water. And once we're ready, we'll head outdoors to start spray painting the base. To allow our spray paint to dry evenly without dripping, we will only apply it one side at a time on surfaces that are facing upwards. We will then wait until the surfaces are completely dry before turning the table and applying the spray paint on the other sides. We will do two coats of metallic gold spray paint to have better coverage. Our metallic gold base is now ready and looking good. We're gonna clean up the top once more to remove all the dust and spray particles. Next, we will start applying our white chalk paint. If you want to know more about the techniques of painting laminate with chalk paint, you can watch my previous video, Painting Laminate Furniture with Chalk Paint, that I'm referencing here and I'm leaving a link in my description below for you to watch later on. Applying the third coat of my white chalk paint, I will let my piece dry for at least 4 hours. I will then apply the protective sealant coat. Instead of using a clear wax to seal my chalk paint, I will use this time a spray clear top coat. And I'm going to let my table dry for 24 hours before continuing work on it. After 24 hours, I'm ready to work with my epoxy, but first I'm going to start by covering my base properly. Epoxy always comes in two containers labeled A and B, which we have to mix in equal parts before applying. With a measuring cup, I will use the same quantity of the formula A and formula B and mix them together. I'll mix them slowly to avoid creating a lot of bubbles. Then I'll divide my quantity into three parts to add white chalk paint with the bigger part and metallic gold and brown spray paint in two smaller parts. I'm going to start first with the white chalk paint that I'm mixing with a large quantity of epoxy. I will then let it sit for a few minutes. And now that it's mixed and it's settled a bit, I'm gonna pour three quarters of that mixture all along the table surface. I will use a putty knife to spread it evenly everywhere. Then I 
will take the remaining quantity of the epoxy mixed with the chalk paint and pour it on the surface. You will notice that the color here is more dense because of the chalk paint that settled at the bottom of the mixture. We will be using a heat gun to spread all the epoxy more evenly and we can already see that the two different whites are creating a nice depth and dimension on the surface. Alternating between the heat gun and the putty knife, I will make sure to remove all the bubbles from the surface. And before my epoxy dries out, I will use my metallic gold in the small epoxy container and mix them together well. And I will use a smaller amount for my brown spray paint. Now that I evened out my three epoxy layers, I'm going to let them dry for at least 24 hours before adding the last epoxy top coat. I ended up waiting 48 hours to let my epoxy dry properly and this is what the surface looks like so far. I think it's pretty much ready for the top coat. So we're going to start by lightly sanding the surface. And I'm going to clean the residue with rubbing alcohol. Again, I'm going to be using the epoxy mixture of Formula A and Formula B in equal parts. But this time I will not be adding any color to it since I'm going to use it as a top coat. I will apply it with the same technique as I did with the previous layers using the putty knife and the heat gun. going to spread some of the epoxy mixture on the edge of the table as well. another 24 hours before removing all the protective wrapping. And this is our marble effect surface after 24 hours. It's looking shiny, it's even, there are no bubbles.